Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of businesses went bankrupt. A lot of people lost their jobs. And in such situation, everybody was really negative. And so it was very important for family members to motivate their loved ones. Ladies and gentlemen, did you also have a situation like that? And it is not only in case of COVID-19. If a friend does not pass an exam, you have to motivate the friend because you have to be a good friend. If, some, if, if your friend doesn't achieve something or your family member doesn't achieve something, you motivate them in tough times. This is what today's session is about. In today's session, we will understand the use of encouraging phrases that you can make use of in tough times for your loved ones. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started with the first phrase of the day that we have in the list and that is through thick and thins. It basically means to support someone, your loved one through good times and bad times. For example, even though there are rumors that the company is in trouble, we plan to stick it through thick and thins. Very motivating sentence. A lot of people are talking about that. The company is going to shut down, shut down, but uh, you are being one of those people who are saying that we will be there even in good times as well and we're going to be there in the bad times too. So basically encouraging by saying I will be th there through thick and thins. Don't doom and gloom which basically means do not be sad, do not be pessimistic, do not be negative. For example, it has a feeling that, that a situation is very bad and without hope. So a pessimistic feeling, negative feeling that there's no hope in the situation. Example time, despite all the doom and gloom in the city, there are still some bright spots the real estate, in the real estate. It is being said that although the market is really down, but if you invest in real estate, it can give you major, major results. So basically do not, uh, the situation is quite doom and gloom. It has to be used negatively in a sentence and you have to say, do not doom and gloom. Do not be without any ho hopes. The third one is, you've got my backing. Backing basically means support. It means to have someone's support no matter what. Very nice phrase. For example, you can always rely on your parents to have their backing. As you can see, it is not really, it is rely. Please repeat after me, rely. So the sentence is, you can always rely that means you can trust on your parents uh, for their back that means for their support so you've got their backing means you've got their support if you say it to your friend um, for example Raj you've got my backing that means you've got my support sky is the limit whenever you wish to talk about something you say there's no limit basically expressing that's when you say sky is the limit there is practically no limit for anything for example, these are initial problems. Once we launch our app, sky is the limit. So you're basically saying, you're a businessman, you're saying that um, there are some software problems that we will see while we are planning, while we are creating a software, but once it is launched, sky is the limit. So you're motivating other people and, and saying that there's no limit for our success. So make sure that you're consistent with the hard work. Better safe than sorry. It has a literal meaning that to be careful so that you, you're not sorry, you're not regretting about the situation later. Just to be very simple, to be careful. For example, make sure you wear your mask. I know there is no lockdown, but better safe than sorry. Better be safe than sorry or simply better safe than sorry. Get, get your act together. It basically means to organize yourself so that you do things in an effective way. To make sure that whatever you do, you're doing that in an organized manner and you're not just haphazard and everywhere and you do not have, you're not orderly, basically. For example, we are running behind schedule. It's time to get your act together and finish the project before the deadline. That means we are already very late before we finished the, uh, the project. So it's very important that we are, that we hurry up, that we finish it in time. And so motivating your team by saying, get your act together, everybody bite the bullet. To bite the bullet means to do something difficult and necessary. That means to do so, uh, uh, something that is required in the situation and an action that is required in the situation in that case we say bite the bullet before the time goes away. 
For example, I know you hate going to the dentist, but you'll just have to bite the bullet. It's very important because you've got a lot of infection in your teeth or a tooth, so it's very important that you bite the bullet, do this necessary task. So you're motivating the other person that it is not something that you can simply avoid. It is something that you would need to give your proper attention to because it is necessary. Pillar of strength, a very beautiful phrase which means someone that gives support or helps during difficult times. A lot of times your parents are your pillar of strength. A lot of times, uh, let's say, your teachers are your pillar of strength as well when they motivate you to do well in the exams. For example, whenever I stand, whenever I stand confused, I turn up to my father, he's my pillar of strength. Whenever I'm confused in my life, my father is the motivating figure and helps me through difficult times. Back to the drawing board. It basically means to go back to the beginning because the current attempt was unsuccessful. So whenever you, you do not achieve, a person does not achieve anything, you suggest them, you motivate, motivate them by telling them you need to go back to the uh, first step to basically understand where the problem lies. For example, sometimes the best way to proceed after a mistake is to go back to the drawing board, is to go back to where it started. Let's quickly move to the next one and that is hit the nail on the head. This means to find exactly the right answer. You're not finding the right answer of the problems that you're dealing with in your life and, you, and you, you're being suggested or you suggest to the other person. You need to hit the nail on the head. You need to basically focus and decide uh, and realize what is that major problem. For example, I think you need to hit the nail on the head when you talked about the necessary changes. Possibly the changes did not turn out to be right and it's important for you to go back to it and realize basically what is the exact answer. The next example is, don't be scared to speak up, go there and hit the nail on their head. Basically, a lot of times when you're when you're, when you're confused, should you speak up, not speak up? Your friend is motivating you and saying uh, that don't be afraid to question them or to talk to them because possibly after that you will get your exact answer. Hit the nail on their head. Ladies and gentlemen, this was about all the phrases that you can make use of in your daily life to motivate your friends, family, acquaintances or anybody. Make use of these phrases and make sure that you're one of those motivating people, positive people uh, that are there in people's lives. Thank you very much for being with me. My name is Radhan. Take good care. I'll see you in the next lesson.